painting. Got a couple hours in last night. And today I'm going to do more. I'm going to focus on, I don't exactly know what I'm going to do. I have two, two thoughts on how to paint on nine portraits at the same time. Thought number one is that I will pick one color and go through blah, 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 blah. Everyone that needs that color, do that color. The second one is paint on one for a little bit, move to the next, move to the next, move to the next, move to the next. I think I'm going to go with color by color. Um, or I could just do like, Eyes, eyes. Oh, we could do that. I'm not ready for eyes yet. Let's do um. Let's do that. We're gonna do um body part. We can do all the ears. That'd be fun. Okay, because they just kind of tend to use the same types of brushes. I need a brush of a type of flat. What do I have here? Oh, I need a small flat brush. I fucked a brush up. Okay, they're dead. This will do. Ooh, that water's nasty. Let's put this over there. Let's work out of this trough today. And some fresh water. I'm not very organized right now. But I do get organized enough to order some shelving cabinet things, which are on the way. Uh, I don't know. Everything takes like two weeks to deliver right now. Pandemic land. <sighs> painting, painting, painting. Here we go. Yeah, nine. Looks good. I like that. I like that. I like that. Let's make myself a little bit more space here. Uh, everything's stuck from last night. I wake up in the morning, everything's sticky from the night before. That's kind of what's happening. Okay. I have a color, a sort of like yellowy peachy color. It works well for flesh tones for Caucasian folks. <sighs> Let's get a little of this out. Are we working from a palette or straight from the two hubs? I think we're gonna mix, do some mixing. So I'm gonna need some white and some hot, something warm. Is this my white? Yeah, okay. You might not be able to see me, I'm on the floor mixing or getting out paint rather. Put it on this little disposable palette that I like. I have another one around here somewhere. I want to find it because this one, I'm running out of pages. We're definitely not to the point of using um, uh, I'm going to open up a blue so I can get into it if I need to. Okay, definitely not to the point yet of moving to two paints. Not quite there. All right, I'm going to do ears. Let's see what that's like. Have some white. Some red. If I want to go dark, I have a bit of blue. some red too. Where's my red red? There it is. And where's my spray bottle? There you are. Okay. My palette knife. Scoop a little red. Okay. Mm 
That's pretty quick. I need a dark. I'm using blue for the darks. Just want to keep going. I should have known that would happen. Oof, I like this song. Okay, 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 okay. This is pretty solid. Doing these darks here as well. More blue. I know it sometimes seems like I just make things hard on myself, but that, I mean, that's part of it. Part of my process is kind of making things hard on myself. <laughs> That's how I get things to look like this. I invite how I invite lots of mistakes into the process. No blacks. I'm not using any black at all. The darkest thing I have is this dark blue right here. It's like a bluish green. All right, apparently I'm just going all for this. When I like look up to my painting and it is way smaller than I expect it to be. This is the smallest I've painted in about a year, I guess. And I don't think, I don't have a memory of painting this small with these particular paints before. These are the paints that I use for giant for paintings that are a bit bigger than I am. And trying to condense it all down into this little space over here. I wish I had a little orange out here. What do I have this close to orange? Nothing. Let's just work with what I have. Sometimes that's good for me. Sometimes it's not. The... Just work with what I have. Sometimes I can produce really great results that I otherwise might not get. Because I, I, I don't want my paintings to look build or realistic. Um, I could do that, but that's not really like my... I, I get that that's impressive. I totally get it. Spend a thousand hours on something, make it look like hyper-realistic. Totally... Totally get the attraction of that. I follow those things. I watch the videos of them. I love it. And I, and I, and I don't want to do that. There's other people who definitely do that better than I do. And if I want something photorealistic, if I'm... If I'm honest, I will, you know, I'll hire a photographer. <laughs> <laughs> and then let them do their magic in Photoshop.
I really do love these colors, though. They're starting to become a bit of s signature colors for me. I want a bright yellow. I think that's worth opening up a can for. <clears throat> so I use this um, spray bottle, and the way I use it is I keep hitting my open paint. This paint dries stupid fast. So I keep hitting my paint with water, just spray on it, and the can's down here. Just put a little film of water over it. It slows the drying. Took me a while to figure that out, but it works really well for me. Okay. Keep painting. Wait, why did I get that yellow? I got it out, but I didn't use it. What do I want it for? I think I want it for something here. Yeah, here. That's not what I want. Pop it. I always pop when you're working the acrylics. Just, like, dump on a thick layer of paint. Don't worry, it'll dry. Working on the nose. It's kind of hard to see these, all right? I wonder if, if I zoom in. Got our hands are full. If you ever come to my studio, which you are invited, come. I love it when people come to my studio. Please come for a studio tour. If you come to my studio and you look at my camera, they'll be like, why, why is there paint all over your very otherwise nice looking DSLR camera there? I'll be like, uh, well, that's why. Because I'm covered in paint, and I want to change my camera angle, so all y'all can see what I'm doing just a little bit better. Pink. Come back. Timer. Not doing the eyes right now. I don't have the right tools for eyes. Do I have a gray? Somehow I'm mixing a gray here. I'm not sure what I'm doing. It's the blue and white is what I'm doing. That's working. Grays are for shadows. It's kind of working. Let's come in with the stripe of this yellow that's down here. Right here. That looks a lot different in a very short amount of time.
Blacks. We'll come back with Blacks later. All right. Next. I think green. I got one blue. That I do the trick. I have this kink in my neck. Something I want to track. Using these big brushes keeps me honest. And by honest, I mean like not getting into my ego. Not like, like, oh, I know what it's supposed to be, so I'm gonna paint what I think it's supposed to be. No, just like, it makes me surrender. I'm like, okay, well, I really can't even control this. It's good training for me. Allows me to continue to do the same when I... I'll come back with black later. I'm promising myself that right now because I'm having this desire to go seek out some black. I'm not going to do that. Purple. I want purple eyebrows. There we go. Purple eyebrows for sure. Yes. They don't have to be the same. Oh. 
in the flow over here, quiet in the flow, painting away. Hair, lots of hair. We'll come back in for the hair later. Um, she has something with the bridge of the nose here. It's a bright white. Not to clean my brush for. <laughs> Tips of nose tend to be a bit pink. Hit that. And a little bit of green. There we go. Somehow it all works together, or not. Hello, sweetheart. Okay. That's nice. A little bit of yellow, mixing in, pulling out the green. Oh, he is a back crack like a mofo. All right, what's next? This. Dude here, it's Justin Bieber, young Justin Bieber looking fellow. Okay. Let's try not to get too much paint on the camera as we move over to the next one. Oop. What does this one need? Lots of white. So there is a pretty cool repeat in the colors that I need. 
So this is kind of working out. I still have a ton of white on my palette and red, which is what I want right now. And somehow it's coming out green. Let's clean off this brush. Come over that with more, even more red. Yes, please. Yes, 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 yes. Beautiful. Yeah, over here between the hair, around the forehead. That's actually really good. And push it with more water. So with this paint, this acrylic latex, well, it's water-based enamel. When this water-based enamel gets on, I get a color I like. It's If I work really quick, within seconds, really, um, a minute's starting to lose its ability to do it. But if I work quickly, I can push it with water. Just like pushing oil paint, you know, you can push oil paint. You don't just push oil paint, it just pushes. <clears throat> don't necessarily need to, like, add anything. I'm sure you can add things to it to push it a bit more, but... Um, if I'm on the ball, and I work quickly, I can, and if I get a color I like, and I'm like, oh, crap, I can't mix any more of that. Um, no worries. Just get on it quickly and push it around with water. It's a nostril, right? Yeah. Okay. Hot and a little bit pink. The palette is an absolute mess. Look at how ridiculous my messy palette is. Wait, hey, where are you? Here. Focus, please. Here's what the palette looks like. Ah, I'm dripping paint all over the floor. Crap. Okay. Stop that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
that fucking fuck fast there we go okay lips maybe All right, next. Okay. Water everything down a bit. I would like to be holding this jar of water. I'd like to be holding a smaller jar of water. There we go. So I want this to be very loose, very thin. Thin is the word.
Where is this blue coming from? Everything's for a purpose. It's like, I mean, it's like all... Seriously. Oh, I see it. It's because I threw blue all over here earlier. That's where it's coming from. God, I love painting. I love it so much. My whole body relaxes. Everything just flows. I know I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. I know I'm doing exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. This is going well. I'm going to leave her hair for now, but I'm going to come back and get that little wedge of skin tone, which is right up there. I almost missed it. I haven't decided what color her hair will be yet. Hairs for later. 
I want orange, though. Red and yellow should make me some orange. A bit too green. Let's move over here. It's less hot. Doing her lips. <sighs> I've really come a long way in a year and a half. Oh, I don't like that at all. Enough, pulled it off. Okay. Enough on that one for this moment. Man, I don't like any of these. What is going on here? Okay. Maybe I just have a bunch of bad paintings in me waiting to get out. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Something's happening over here, and I'm just going to breathe through it. Mm -hmm. 
size brush. What have we got? Picture bear. Gold paint. Big brush. Exposed. It's a nice thing about painting on the wall is this like the amount that it drips is different than like at a ang uh, easel. Really liking this. Okay, and also her lips. And this is going to be tricky. The slightest bit of pigment. Mixed in with the gold on the lips. Mm. Allows me to tint it, create some turning. A bit of that and a little bit of this blue. I'm so glad I still don't have the blackout. Mm 
Not for now, for her. Down here cleaning out this gold paint can lid. This stuff is expensive enough that I take time to try and get the lid back on. Got a bunch of like paint around the rim, dried paint around the rim. I'm scraping it off. Get a slightly better seal. Much better. Okay. Stretch break. All right, I'm off camera taking a little break, a little stretch, seeing what's happening with these fuckers. I'm not loving any of them. Break time. Okay, I'm gonna take a real break. I'm gonna do something else for a little bit. <laughs> 